Oh. oh, that was quite exciting. So this is now the aftermath. This is the uh, yeah, dunking apparatus. As you can see, the the looks like the potassium has actually dissolved all over the paint off. Um, oh, and there's an ant already trying to take apart my <laughs> apparatus to be taken back to the nest. And this is the business end of things. So what you've got here is obviously one plastic container with a large hole punched in it. One still intact shatter resistant. Good job. Shatter resistant jug. And then we have the area here where it was actually fired into the ground and that's where the um, this guy impacted. Now there's no real explosion here to speak of. All that you really had was um, an expanding gas, adiabatic expansion of gas under water. Right, so the actual detonation of the hydrogen with the oxygen is almost an irrelevance here. What really makes all of this happen is when there gets a large expansion of gas, which I think when the potassium boils, um, might be wrong, but, um, but obviously it can't move the liquid downwards, so it has to move the liquid upwards. If the liquid's moving upwards, conservation of momentum says something has to come downwards, which is basically the jug and whatever's in the bottom half of it. For those who... <laughs> same principle as a reckless rifle. And, um, and that, with seven grams of potassium, was enough to fire the shatter-resistant drug through a nice soft plastic container like that. Now, it's a very impressive piece of season footage where someone takes a couple of grams of cesium, drops it into a glass container on a hard ceramic surface, and the whole thing, you know, goes pop very convincingly in glass and water goes everywhere. And I think that's much less impressive than you might actually think. So I think all you had exactly the same thing about them. They've only got a couple of grams of cesium, the cesium sinks, it boils and explodes, I think, in the same way the potassium does. And as it does so, of course, there you've got a glass container on a hard ceramic surface, and that's basically what makes it go bang. Um, or, or in, indeed, for that matter, we've got a shatter-resistant jug here. If it had done this in glass, I'll wager the whole thing would have shattered just from the pressure wave that goes through the liquid, um, which is very much similar to what happened when I actually put a nice glass um, glass in the first one, where I had a few grams. So, and yeah, that's the aftermath of, what was it, 8 grams? 8 grams of potassium reacting with water. <laughs>